I know it's brood. They use flour. There's that flour they use to steer. Then they they pack it for a couple of days. Then it comes out to, to be like this. You're supposed to be using a calabash to take it. How do you explain this to your king when he finds you taking it in a plastic? Uh, it depends on how you want it. I didn't prefer using a calabash. I prefer this this tumbler. Are you a proud allure? A nice one. But you got yourself a t-shirt and you're not putting it on. Uh, I'm going to put it on. I'm still jiggling in my outfit. I think it's nice to be on a low. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Now, what can you tell us about your culture? What do you have to tell the viewer about a low culture? Uh, we, we, are, we, are, we are good people. We are loving people. Everyone is good. Yeah, we are, we are people who embrace like every culture. We... What do you love most about your culture? The food and the people. We have nice food, but people don't know. We have angira. There is uh, that. There are a couple of things that we use. Kadatona, angara, exactly. I know. You know a couple, so it's really nice. So if you're proud and low, what's the name of your king? Ha! That's a tough one. <laughs> so you don't know the it's name a, of... It's a tough one, yeah, I'll be honest. You, are you an alore? I'm... I'm, or I'm, you are a copy. I'm Kampala Anadu. Med. Kampala. I'm Anadu. Not Kampala Med. I'm Anadu. But, you know, it, it, takes, it takes something different. What word to... comes first when you think of Alu? The one that comes tribe, first. In your tribe, yeah. Mer Maleng. What does it mean? Good love. <laughs> and you don't know your king. <laughs> okay, any clan leader? Uh, I know one called... Uh, is it Anecho? Is it? You're not sure. Okay, what word do you have for our dear viewer? What word do you have for someone viewing us now, someone who can't come to the festival? Do you advise them to come? What word do you have? For? Advise them to come. Nambu, nambu, kuku, 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 watie kanambu, nambu, bekuru, goni, saa, yote, so. Nanu mutie, pachizo, gibinu, anambi. Wandushu, wana, chel, ama langi, but I'm here for a low. Don't miss out, still TV Africa, we have the best. Thanks a lot for your time, I'm really glad. And uh, I appreciate your content. You're welcome. We are still here. We have lots to showcase. Guys, this is amazing. This is a beautiful tribe. I don't know what to say. This, they, 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 they blow their ivory. They sing. They, it's just amazing. I still have lots, lots, and lots, and lots to show you guys. You just don't have to miss. Please turn on your notification bell. Share. Invite. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, TV Africa Uganda. Facebook, TV Africa Uganda. Twitter, TV Africa Uganda. And Instagram, TV Still here at the Luka Show Festival with these beautiful ladies. We have a lot to hear from them. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Um, I'm Alum from TV Africa. I'm Nelly Pithua from Nebi Alur. I'm Joyce Kakayo from Arua. Can you guys tell us more about uh, the Lu culture? The Lu people are the people who come from Nebi, and that is West Nile. Uh, Alur is having three different types of people. We have the Padiere, we have Junam, we have the Zumbu people that all speak Alur but in different accent, yes, but we are all one. Yeah, that is something about the Alur. No, I, I really don't know anything about the Lur culture, but what I know is that they dance really well. So just come to enjoy, have time, have fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm having my fun here, I'm enjoying my time, so it's really nice. I'm also learning the culture, which, more, which is really nice. More about the Lur, we have two cultural dances. We have the Aguara and we have Ndala. And this is Ndala. The Aguara was down there. That is about the allure. We have the staple food. We have angira. That is the beans with the greens. And then we have um, uh, we have gobe, which is uba, with odi. That is what we cook with the pot, which is called agulu. Then pedo. I last. Um, from the Pakwach people, we have pedo and angara. She missed the most important one. Anyo, <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Yeah, I tested it this morning. It's good for breakfast, actually. Very good. Then what do you have to tell our dear viewer about the Alu Festival? What does it teach you? Does it teach you anything? Does it remind you about your childhood? Actually, when I'm to tell about our own people, 
I, I, I ask everyone who is an alul and who is not an alul to actually join us and celebrate together and enjoy this day. And this has made me actually to learn how to dance in alul, which most of us do not know how to dance. I came with my elder sister from Arua. She has actually learned today how to dance. Yes. And greetings to all my entire family from Nebi, mom, dad, my sister Bridget, Luna, Clark, everyone. I love you so much. Let's be proud of our tribe and yeah, we love our, our king, Obimo. Obimo Raone. That's our king's name. Thank you. So what, what advice do you have for my viewer? What, what do you have to do? You should actually take time and enjoy these cultural festivals. Get, get time, come and enjoy it. Um, the best advice I can give our viewers is to always be proud of where you come from and embrace where you come from. Be part of whatever thing that happens in your culture and embrace it with a lot of energy. I love the Alur people. We love you. Nelly Pipua comes from Paminya. Thank you and Penji. Thanks a lot for your content. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Still at TV Africa, guys, we give you content. We give you the best. We give you the blast. We give you everything you need to know about cultural festivals. We are here at the Uganda Museum. The plot of the night is a little cultural festival. Still to give you the best plot. Don't make a move. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, TV Africa Uganda, Instagram, TV Africa Uganda, Facebook, TV Africa Uganda, Twitter, TV Africa Uganda, and Instagram, TV Africa Uganda. I'm here to give you content by the, one of the organizers, the big guy in the team of the Lou Cultural Festival. I'm just from dancing, as you can see, guys, I have my lesson. Hi. Hi, hi, how are you? Nice meeting you. What's your name, please? Nice to meet you. I'm called Omono Francis Dennis. I'm the CEO of Alu Cultural Festival. Hey guys, I'm even taller than the CEO. <laughs> <laughs> so what's this you're holding? This is the it is a cow tail in English. In my local land we call it Ulesu. It is used for dancing, traditional dance as you see up there. The Aguara and, and, and Ndara. So right now what is taking place there is the Ndara. In uh, our culture, this is how they dance, how you're singing it there. So it's used for, for, for dancing those two traditional songs. Is this the first edition or? No, this is now the sixth edition that we have been, 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 been doing here. So uh, what motivated you to doing the festival? Yeah, it's about the culture. We have now, culture is now dying a, a bit. We look at our tradition in the old days there, and we are, we are more so much in the culture. But uh, as, as the modernization continues, we realize that our culture is going back, going down. So we had to awaken people to still remember their culture. And so this seeing this rain, do you feel blessed? Yeah, this is, is a blessing. It's a blessing. We have been working on this rain from uh, yesterday, and uh, we have the team working on the rain around here. And uh, it's not going to be much rain. It's just a you know, blessing to us when here. Okay. So, what, what, what? Do you have a team that you move on with, or you alone in the field? No, we have a team of uh, over 30 people uh, that we are working with. As you see. So this is one of the biggest event uh, in West Nile and uh, Lure at Atlai. So you can do it alone. You have to work with a team that is very, very strong and uh, able to work with you very well. So what do you have to tell my dear viewer? Uh, to our dear viewers, um, uh, first of all, Alur is a very, very rich culture with a very good tradition, as you can see there. We are so lovely people. We are the people who like unity so much. And what brings us together is uh, one of them is the, the kind of the dance you see there. So I, I implore all of you to come learn more about our culture and see how our culture is, culture, how we behave, our local food. I know your team has been there to see how our food, local food behave. So at least you can have a feel of what our local people are. So you advise, my dear viewer. Tell them more about the Lu culture. What do you know more deep about the Lu, about your king, who you worship? Do you guys worship some other god? Do you guys believe in something? Your traditional beliefs? Anything? I think there is only one god that we must all know. But besides that, we have our own king that we believe in. His Royal Majesty, Philip Lakira Uri III, who is our king. Our history is, begins a long time ago. And you see in Uganda, when cultural institutes were abolished, Alu were among the top five cultural institutes that were, were not abolished by the government of Uganda. And uh, we are part of that. That means that government really loves us so much and know what they're doing is the right thing because 
we are not doing it for the first time it has been for many years ago and uh, that is whom we are we love ourselves we love what invite with, with our own people that's lovely so do you guys have a headquarters some office if someone watching wants to call you up or wants to do business with you how do we get to link up with you yeah if for any business one of our office is here in Chevandu you can call our office line on uh, is uh, mobile number on uh, 078 Four three five one seven one seven, and this event is organized every year, twice a year. We do it at this very same venue, Uganda Museum, and back home also we do it. We have three districts in Alur Land, till four we are Congo. Alur has over ten million people world, world worldwide. We are the majority, I think, in 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 in, in the world. If I have the tribe, we have over ten million people. Besides, only like three million people are in Uganda. Over 10 million people are also in, uh, in DRC Congo, that is our majority. So we are very big, big, big population in the country. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot for your time. I appreciate your content. Hoping to see you again. Thank I'm you actually you. having fun. Thanks for inviting TV Africa. Looking Have forward fun. to more business. Yeah. Guys, this is the CEO of Aluka Chua Festival. And has left us about the event. So I think we are good to go. You don't have to miss out. And now it's time to have fun. The rain is blessing us, as you can see. Bye-bye. Continue -bye. watching TV Africa. Turn on the notification bell. Share. Make sure no one misses out. Love you.
Shanya, Kashonya, Zongonya. Marabini shule. Chairman organizing committee ni kani? Chairman organizing committee. Give me that. Indene kama jai yeya. Kuto jai kuninga ya. Enjai kuningu uno. Afuel aluro ya. It was a beautiful day for the Alu tribe because they had the Alu cultural festival. Every tribe needs to have this. They have beautiful people, beautiful language, beautiful clan, beautiful king, beautiful music, beautiful drums, beautiful dancers. Everything about the tribe is so beautiful. And I, you guys, I hope you just saw it and then you, you heard the amazing melodies from the drums, from the guara, from the... From Dandara, they had the best. We had the best. I had fun. I learned dance tracks. This clan is actually amazing. I would advise every tribe to do this. They have food. How did I forget? They have the Pedu, they have the Angara, they have the Nang Nang, they have the Agira. I'm forgetting most of them, but they have lots of foods, lots of dishes. We need to try other traditional dishes. You've seen them. And I hope next time we learn how to make them, it's just about the time because it has to go, the day has to go. But we ask me, I don't feel like it should end. You guys, 
We are here to make you have all the content. We are here to make you get into the event. We make you feel like you're there. We don't want you to miss anything because we are TV Africa. We are here to deliver the best and yet to give you more and more. Still on TV Africa, don't forget to subscribe. If you don't want to miss out, turn on your notification bell for any content that we are going to produce. Please turn on your notification bell. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, TV Africa Uganda, Instagram, TV Africa Uganda, Twitter, TV Africa Uganda, Facebook, TV Africa UG, TV Africa, your girl Alum, giving you the best content from the Uganda Museum, Alum Cultural Festival.